We've never seen the pickup truck market expand as rapidly as it is right now. Fifteen years ago, it seemed like SUVs were taking over the entire market. Many trucks were discontinued, and predictions were not bright. But today, not only have the main segments recovered, but you can also find a variety of models, such as the compact Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz. Many other concepts are still in development, with their debuts more or less likely. Here are the 16 best projects we can expect in the foreseeable future. The comeback of the legendary pickup is just around the corner. Fans expect the El Camino, but General Motors might decide to relaunch the Avalanche. A few more nameplates are in the mix, including the S10 and Nova Montana. One thing is certain, it will be a compact pickup. Ford is already taking over the market, and Toyota has announced the debut of the Stout. General Motors can't afford to leave another segment to its rivals, as they did with high-performance trucks. Lexus truck has incredible potential to become a serious factor in the market. The styling based on big SUVs, premium materials, advanced options, and Toyota's reliability. The main issue is the badge. Luxury trucks haven't been successful in the past and it's unlikely that will change soon. However, limited production with high-end options can change the market forever. If any model can shake things up, it's the Lexus, especially with its new hybrid system capable of producing 437 horsepower and 580 pound-feet of torque. Ram Rampage has been introduced, but it's not what we expected, a compact pickup that will rival Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz. Instead, the company developed another mid-sized truck to serve as an alternative to the Jeep Gladiator. This leaves a vacant spot in the compact pickup segment for the Stellantis Group. Dodge, known for its truck heritage, can fill this void. Many enthusiasts still refer to Ram trucks as Dodge Ram trucks. The company will likely decide to use the old nameplate rather than opting for Ram 700 or Ram 1200. Subaru had short stints in the pickup truck market, but both Baja and Brat left a strong impression. While these models weren't highly appreciated when they were produced, today's market favors small, agile, and versatile trucks. With a boxer engine and four-wheel drive, Subaru can deliver a unique driving experience. If the company includes off-road features like the Wilderness Package, the Baja or Brat trucks will be ones to watch next season. This isn't far from the truth. When we first heard about the Bronco pickup truck, we didn't pay much attention. But now there are more reports about its development. We're still cautious, as Ford already offers a wide range of trucks. The blue oval badge covers everything from the small Maverick pickup to heavy-duty F-Series rigs. Where would the Bronco truck fit? Probably as an off-road specialist, even though the Raptor is already the king of rough terrains. We already mentioned the uncertainty of the luxury truck market. If Toyota is reluctant to build such a pickup, Ford has even less intention, given its bad experiences in the past. The Lincoln Mark LT and Blackwood were flops, with around 40,000 units produced combined. However, the company could take a different approach now by building an SUV-based truck inspired by the Lincoln Navigator. This vehicle could have it all, superb performance, class-leading towing capacity, a cozy interior, and advanced tech options. The downside would be the price, which will be on par with high-end Ford F-150 models, not just the King Ranch and Platinum trims, but the limited edition. We can say the same for the Cadillac, Lincoln's main rival. The company can easily blend the utility of the Silverado truck with the luxury of the Escalade SUV to build the perfect rig. It wouldn't be the first time to see such cooperation, as the Escalade EXT was in production from 2002 to 2006. Two factors work against this model, one is the high price, and other one is existing Denali truck in GMC Sierra lineup. But, what General Motors is missing is a high-performance model, and the V-Series treatment could make the company competitive against Ram TRX and Ford Raptor R. A 6.2-liter supercharged unit could burst 700 horsepower for the Cadillac truck. This still seems like a far-fetched project, but the company hasn't completely given up on the idea of diesel trucks. We've been hearing these stories for years, and Toyota has dismissed them a few times. However, diesel rigs are still available in the US, especially in the heavy-duty segment. A Tundra HD with an oil burner could shake up the entire industry. If any company can break the supremacy of US truck makers, it's Toyota. Nissan tried with the Titan XD but failed. Still, the manufacturer needs to find a suitable powertrain for this configuration. 
Ford builds its own power stroke, while Ram and GM trucks rely on Cummins and Duramax outsourcing. Concept that is still ahead of its time. The Super Chief was a project based on the F-250 heavy-duty truck, and its unique fuel system was its downfall. It is impressive to hear about a vehicle that can use gasoline, E85 ethanol, and hydrogen, but such a powertrain is too complicated to build, too large, and too expensive. The concept still exists, but after nearly 20 years, it will need some modifications. The latest reports suggest moving to the F-350 as the base, with many updates to the body and powertrain. Once again, everything about the Super Chief will be futuristic. We can't say this every day, but Mercedes failed in one aspect, building a pickup truck. Their X-Class was a flop, and that can be a double-edged sword for BMW. If their archival couldn't succeed, especially using the same platform as the Nissan Navara, one of the most durable trucks globally, can the Bavarian carmaker do better? On the other hand, the potential reward is rich, to achieve what their biggest competitor could not. The BMW pickup truck is not a new idea. Reports indicate it will be based on the X7, which makes sense considering the SUV's ladder frame, a prerequisite for success in this segment. Similar stories are emerging about Audi, but everyone considers this carmaker an outsider when it comes to truck production. It can be even greater motivation to outperform both BMW and Mercedes. However, the Audi pickup could take a different route and become an EV. Alternatively, the company could build a Q7-based truck with a unibody platform. Either way, what we know for now is not too exciting. Compared to Audi, Acura is in a better position. Honda builds the Ridgeline, which is already a well-known truck, though it's not highly competitive in the US market due to its unibody platform and limited towing capacity. On the flip side, this configuration offers unique handling and higher safety standards. If Honda integrates Acura features into the Ridgeline, it could potentially transform into a luxurious truck suitable for everyday commuting. A hybrid powertrain is an option, as well as a Type S performance-oriented configuration. When building vehicles, Volvo prioritizes safety above all else. Achieving the maximum rating for a pickup truck is not easy, and in the past, Volvo executives were not keen to push those limits. However, with the growth of the truck market, Volvo may finally pursue this goal. Yet, the chances remain slim, as the carmaker is also focused on environmentally friendly power sources, with most of their vehicles moving towards zero emissions. Volkswagen isn't hiding its intentions to launch a truck in the US, a major market for such vehicles coveted by many companies. While their Amarok is highly competitive in Europe, Asia, and South America, the German company has yet to introduce a model for North America. The Tarek is the latest concept, and fans remain disappointed with the decision not to launch the Atlas Tanok model, announced six years ago. Let's hope the company won't wait as long for the Tarek. Only 3,000 units were produced, but the Cyclone is remembered for its performance and beating Ferrari in a drag race. Enthusiasts want it back. General Motors could pack it with a mighty 6.2-liter V8 or even a smaller 4.2-liter supercharged V8 and 550 horsepower. Such configurations are expensive, which means the Cyclone's production will be limited again. Also, the question is if GMC needs another truck with the lineup already consisted of half-ton Sierra and mid-size Canyon. It would be interesting to see how this plays out with the all-new QX80 now available. Infiniti has revamped its full-size SUV, which now features a twin-turbo engine instead of V8. Fans are hoping for a similar upgrade for the Nissan Titan truck, and speculate that the company might develop a luxury pickup as well. Combining the durability of their existing truck with the latest features and systems from the Infiniti family, the rig could potentially become one of the favorite high-end models in 2025 and 2026.